Now, it doesn't mean that you need incredible knife skills that you don't just chop everything at a rate of knots. That's not the point. But the technique is, how are you going to chop your vegetables or your meat or your fish? We're dealing with vegetables today. So, I've got a lovely shallot here. Now, keep the little end bit on because that's what's going to help you when you want to finely slice them. That way and that way. Now, you can see that if I hadn't kept the little end bit on, it would have all fallen apart in my hands. This way, look at that. I'm going to pop that into some hot, lovely sesame oil. We're going to make a little stir fry. I like to cut my carrot in half, in half again. You can thinly slice like this, which I think is the simplest way. And you turn it over and you slice again. Basically, what is a julienne? A julienne is a matchstick. Put the carrots in there. I'm also going to put some garlic. Not too much. Well, suit yourself, really. And lots of ginger for me. Peppers. Just cut off all the sides like that. Right? You obviously are going to use remove this pith. There it is. And then, again, as thin as you like. Okay, so we're going to toss those in there. That's a bit of soy sauce excellent. So what we're going to do is the little sort of curls, particularly served when you're doing like um, sp spring rolls or that sort of food where you need to have a little, a lovely little sort of spring onion, I don't know, pretty bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to slice them as thinly as you can and you put them straight into ice water. They sort of like a and curl up. Right, now the final little trick. This is a very, very useful one. It's called chiffonade. So this is some spinach from the garden. So you cut along the stalk and you cut along the stalk. Clearly you need a knife that can do that. Now here's the trick. So you roll, roll it up, and then you simply cut it as finely as you like. And you end up with lovely little ribbons. Don't need too much honey because you've got quite sweet vegetables here. And talking of this, Perhaps just a squeeze of lime. Remember that anything sort of Asian usually has that balance of salty and sweet and sour. And really, it's all quite simple. So you see, it's about employing some useful techniques. These beautiful, beautiful twirly-whirly moments. And voila, stand back and just take the accolades. MasterChef South Africa is proudly sponsored by Pick and Pay.